So, my hot end is currently in use right now. This is what it looks like. This is going to be an update video on it for those that want to know. So, it's been maybe a couple months since I did this installation. I have not been disappointed since. This has been the greatest thing I've done so far. No more heat creeping when it comes to the hot end. No more filament stuck inside the extruder. No more jams. No more problems in general. And for any problems I do have, it's probably mostly my fault. Dumb issues. Um, but other than that, so far this has been the best upgrade ever. I would not go back to a regular E6 standard heat end. Boom, and this is what it looks like. This is going to be the Al Capone cigar stand that I'm making for myself. Um, currently, let's see how many more hours we got. So, only 34 more hours to go. And I'm already about 20 hours in. Hello, good morning guys. It's early as fuck in the morning. So my print is finally done. It took about 54 hours and 2 minutes. So I am really excited for me to peel off all this supported material so I printed this at 210 or my uh, my bad 255 on the nozzle and then 110 on the heated bed 15% infill grid fill and this material is ABS I'm pretty excited hell yeah I like that Ooh, I'm ready to take it off well that's what happens I'm just peel off all this supported material but look at this. Look at the quality on that thing. And this is all done with the same hot end that I had. The Fetus Dragon Hot End. Fetus, whatever you want to call it. I'll correct myself later. But it's all done with that hot end. I have not had a problem since. It's been making greater quality prints. Alright, so all the support material is now removed. It's all here. So, let me thin this off a little bit. Oh, this is what he looks like. So, what I'm gonna do now, I got this little Dremel I got from Home Depot for like 90 bucks, a little kit or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up, sand them down a little bit, get them nice and looking good. Thank you. 
Alright, so I need to do one more thing. Get a little piece of sandpaper and get them all nice again. Alright, let's see if Al Capone is capable of doing what he was made for, and that's to hold my cigars. So here I have a Gloria Cubana, Monte Cristo White Series, and the JR Alternative. Let's see? Okay, that one fits. That one fits too. Boom, triple decker. Look at that.